And with the 15th pick in the 2023 NHL Draft, the host Nashville Predators have taken right-wing Matthew Wood from the University of Connecticut. Gil Martin here alongside with Hadi Kalakesh, our prospects expert. And right now, we welcome live from the floor at the NHL Draft, Nick Morgan of Locked On Predators to talk about this pick. Matthew Wood, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a pretty good pick for the Nashville Predators. We were kind of joking that this is almost like the throwback David Poyle pick. You get a big guy, uh, a big body who likes to score up front. Uh, you know, the youngest player uh, in, in this draft class who played in the NCAA last season. Uh, this is a guy with a ton of upside. Maybe a little bit of a safe pick for the Nashville Predators. Oliver Moore was available right there, too. Maybe somebody with a little bit more upside, but... You know, I think this is a guy that plays with that kind of textbook, Nashville Predators, gritty style. I think Preds fans are going to like this guy. Hottie, does he fit in well with what the Preds traditionally do? Absolutely, but I also think he brings enough finesse to be a worthwhile pick in this range. Um, I really like the uh, the playmaking game on him as well. He's a great scorer, but more and more as a, as a year went on, he showed some refined playmaking elements, some ability to uh, cut to the inside, find space in the middle of the ice, and draw pressure to him before making a pass, which really improved his overall impact in the game. Uh, he's got some two-way ability as well. He reminds me a lot of a Tyler Toffoli in terms of his play style. Uh, so a player that really fits with what uh, David Boyle uh, used to do with the Preds and, and something that, you know, the, the Preds will really come to enjoy. I think this is a really kind of a, a pick that really kind of makes sure that people know that the, that the draft is happening in uh, Nashville this year. Um, a great selection for me. I had him a tiny bit lower, but honestly, I would have been fine with him at this range. And Hadi, how far away do you think he is from being NHL ready? I think by the time his sophomore year is done, he'll sign in, uh, in Nashville and, and start his process towards working his way up to the NHL. Um, for me, he just screams middle six winger. Um, just, you know, like I mentioned, a Tyler Toffoli type who's not necessarily going to be a, a top liner who's going to score you 35, 40, 45 goals, but uh, the type of guy who's going to have an impact in all three zones and in multiple different elements of the game for you. Um, but yeah, in his sophomore year, so two years from now, um, I, I think he'll be in the NHL or at least working his way up to it. Nick, you, you made the first pick. Where do they go from here with their second pick in the first round? Well, you know, they still need a center. That is, I think, the one thing in uh, their defense or their arsenal that they're they're really thin on. Uh, they need that number one playmaking center. That's kind of what I thought. Maybe you go Oliver Moore there, try to get you know a really sure you know sure fire guy there. Uh, the other big need is they need to refill that defensive pipeline. Uh, but you know, you look in, in the now that um, Axel Sandin Pelica is gone. The, those top four defensemen aren't there. So uh, the Preds could go in a lot of different ways here. They could go for depth. They can go for kind of a safe pick. Uh, or, you know, maybe they take a chance, like somebody like Gavin Brindley, you know, somebody who, uh, you know, maybe has a little bit more of a boom bust potential. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what the Preds here in, uh, let's see, just a couple of picks from now. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you get back to that, Nick. But uh, thank you so much for Joining us for more on this selection and all the Predators' other moves around the draft and free agency, tune into Locked On Predators for free on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube. It's part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.